Good morning out there at Internet Land. You know, every day I'm reminded about how all things relate and your attitude or mood times or towards one thing carries over into all these different areas. And I guess I'm pretty much like everybody else. I, I like things to be set where too much chaos starts to freak me out. But once I get into the groove, a weird thing about the way I operate is I can handle and actually thrive in a in a atmosphere of chaos at least more at first it, you wouldn't think so because my first immediate reaction is to rag about it and get all upset and but then i talk through and i work through it i examine different avenues of what's going on and i just get in the groove and make it happen and so this is what happens to me this morning i'm expecting a load to Denver and like Denver's a freaking beautiful place and all that but not in the winter not unless you're a ski bum if you love skiing and you got a four-wheel drive and a rack on the top of your truck you're golden but if you're just like driving through with a big truck full of stuff <laughs> not so much anyway I get the information this morning where instead I'm going to Phoenix and at first I'm like oh, damn, you know started thinking well what about this or what about that a couple minutes later, my brain goes, dude, where do you want to go? In March, Phoenix or Denver? Yeah, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. I've got to run out and do a couple of extra things and kind of go in a roundabout way to make this load happen, but who cares? It's either that or get ready to chain up driving over mountains and putting up with people trying to fight their way through the snow also. It's just uh, much better, much better to have the sunshine. Can you see the sun out here? This is awesome. Yesterday it was crazy. It started getting a little bit, a little bit snowy and a little bit drizzly and a little bit cold. But today it's just nice and brisk and the sun's out and it's a beautiful day here. And that's what I'm going to look forward to driving down to Phoenix because on the way down there, I imagine every once in a while they'll get snow in the high peaks on the roads going down there. But for the most part, it ain't nothing like, I mean, the where the Eisenhower Tunnel is on the 80 is over 11,000 feet. And if you remember your high school math or whatever, a mile is a little over 5,000 feet. So you're two miles up <laughs> and it is cold up there in June. <laughs> And it could snow at any time. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make on this particular video is before, before you get out of whack because something has changed and things are going to be different than you thought they might be, it's best to take a step back. And this is one of those do as I say, not as I do, because I, my immediate reaction, I, I have not tamped that down to be my normal self, which happens a few minutes later, or maybe a half hour, depending on how big the thing is. But it's not reaction that causes you to really excel, it's response. And if something happens, best bet is to back off the initial reaction and take a look around and then decide how to respond and I can say you'll almost always make a better decision that way unless it's something very immediate that's going to cause an instant problem that you've got to like jump out of the way of a train or something it's going to be better to back off relax examine the possibilities and then choose a course of action I went through this in uh, several videos back I was talking about the ways to make a decision and all of this applies and now it's about time for me to take off i hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are just like this or the day or the day you like you might like it when it's all snowy and everything if so have at it strap on your skis and let her rip that's all i got for today i'll talk to you tomorrow i'm out